Okay, so uh, good morning, everybody. So we are going to continue from where we stopped yesterday. So previously we stopped at uh, essay question number three. So we are going to continue with essay question number four. So the question, essay question number four A sounds like this. Huh? Standard electrode potential of PB4 plus PB2 plus half cell is determined by electrolysis. Number one, draw and label the setup of apparatus which to be used to determine the E0 value of the PB4 plus PB2 plus electrode. And write the overall equation for the reaction for the chemical cell in one and determine the EMF of the chemical cell. Okay, so um, uh, in here, so this is the, how you draw the setup of the apparatus. So as usual, uh, you will need to uh, uh, you will need to draw the standard electrical potential for the hydrogen gas, and then uh, you are going to draw the uh, lead four plus lead two plus, and then the uh, the electrode is platinum, okay? And then PB4 plus PB2 plus concentration 1.0 mole per decimeter cube. Potential meter is pointing towards the directions of the uh, LED4 plus, LED2 plus, indicating that uh, this platinum here acts as the anode, okay? Whereas the platinum in here acts as the cathode of the cell. Okay, so, and we have a salt bridge uh, that you must label. Uh. So uh, try your best uh, to label as quickly as you can, as sorry, as complete as you can, uh, the everything is inside there, okay? Okay, so uh, that is how you get the three marks for uh, draw and label the setup of apparatus. Huh? Okay, number two, write overall equation for the reaction in one and determine the EMF of the cell. You can determine from the uh, E0 values at the behind of your books there. So, uh, the at at not you have uh, H2 plus 2H plus plus 3 minus. At cathode, you should have PB4 plus plus 3 minus give PB2 plus. So uh, the overall equation will be uh, PB4 plus plus H2 give 2H plus plus PB2 plus. So E0 cell is equals to uh, positive 1.69. Right? Okay, so that is for how we are going to uh, solve for question number 4A1 and 4A2. Okay, then uh, we are going to go for uh, 4B. Oh, sorry, 4A3. If the concentration of PP2 plus and PP4 plus solution are 1.0 mole per decimeter cube and 1.0 times 10 power of negative 4 mole per decimeter cube respectively, and the solution is buffered at the pH 0 0.5, calculate the pressure of the hydrogen gas that is needed to apply to maintain the cell at equilibrium at temperature 25 degrees Celsius. So given in the Nernst equation uh, of the following, where, where you have the uh, Nernst equation inside there, where Q is the reaction quotient. Uh, so how are you going to apply the Nernst equation inside here? So first of all, you need to uh, apply the whole equations in here, where the Nernst equation you have to rely in such a sense, where E cell equals to E not cell minus 0 0.05 now of the two, uh, minus, if you use minus log, uh, then it is product over reactant. So it's product PB2 plus time H2 square, over PV4 plus time partial pressure of H2. So you want to try to find the partial pressure of the hydrogen gas in here. Okay, so uh, we will substitute everything accordingly. So 0 plus one, uh, 0 0.15 is equals to uh, negative minus 0 0.05 now over 2, log 1.0 uh, time 0 0.316. Now, how, uh, teacher, how do you get the 0 0.316 in here? Uh, 0 0.316 comes from, you have to try your best and show, uh, because uh, pH is equal to negative log of H plus. Okay, so uh, concentration of H plus is equal to uh, 10 power of negative 3, uh, 0 0.5. Uh. So that is why you have uh, 1 point, uh, 0 0.316, uh, okay? Okay, then divided by 1.0 times 10 power negative 4, uh, and then partial pressure of the hydrogens in here. Okay, so as a result, you'll get your answer as uh, 8.5 times 10 power negative 3 pascal. Uh. Okay, so that is how you are going to uh, solve for the uh, number one, number three, sorry. Okay, then you have a B. Bronze is an alloy of copper and tin, which is used to make metal, statue, monument, art object. When bronze is exposed to humid air for a long time in the industrial area, its surface show a trace of faint white coating before it takes a brown or green color known as the patina. 
By using relevant enot value, explain the appearance of the faint white coating in the bronze. Okay, so now in here, because the bronze is made of the alloy of copper and also tin. So copper, if you check, the standard electrode potential value is positive 0 0.34, and then uh, tin is a negative 0 0.15, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, and then uh, in here, and another keyword in here is humid air over a long uh, period of time in industrial area. So these are trying to tell you that you uh, because uh, industrial area is acidic. Lah. Okay, so uh, basically what they want you to explain here is they are trying to ask you to apply acidic air. Okay, so the two half, uh, so in acidic air, the suitable half equation will be 4H plus plus O2 plus 4E minus give 2H2O. So in another word, it is going to do a reduction reaction. So in another word, for between copper and tin, you have to find something that undergoes oxidation. So it seems that tin has a more negative E0 value, uh, 0 0.14, sorry, 0 0.14. So uh, that is why uh, ox uh, in terms of oxidation, tin is more readily to oxidize compared to copper. So in here, we are basically comparing tin with the acidic air in here, okay? So uh, how do you get the five mark? As usual, uh, you have to first explain the acidic, uh, ac uh, humid air contain acidic, uh, it's acidic, uh, okay? And then you choose the suitable half equation. So half equations is uh, uh, like this, okay? And then the, finally calculate the enox cell. Then uh, since enox cell is positive, reaction is spontaneous, thin air with ox uh, acidic air to oxidize in here. So in another word, uh, I would advise you all to write steps like steps like that. Uh, where you have a, a 4H plus plus O2 plus 4E minus, give 2H2O. Okay, so uh, just, just to make sure that you all know what, how to solve. Lah. 2, 3, and then you have a SN, give SN2 plus plus 2 minus. So you know, this equals to positive 0 0.14. So that is how you get the overall e not cell in here equals to positive 1.37. Okay, summation of the uh, e not values in here. Okay, and since the e not value is positive, the reaction is spontaneous. So uh, you react with acidic air to oxidize to become tin 2 plus. Okay, so uh, just write the equation accordingly, calculate the e not cell, and then uh, you get your answer. Okay, so this is how you are going to solve for question number four. Okay, so immediately we go to question number five. Okay, any questions so far? Okay, hopefully no problem. Huh? Okay, so if no problem, then we go to question number five. Okay, a galvanic cell is constructed by immersing a piece of copper wire in 25.0 milliliter of 0 0.2 copper sulfate and a zinc strip in 0, 25 centimeter cube, 0 0.20 mole per decimeter cube zinc sulfate. Draw and label the set of apparatus to construct galvanic cell. Write the ionic equation for the cell. So uh, in here you have to draw the full label setup. Then you have a zinc plate in here, zinc strip, uh, zinc strip, and then copper wire. Okay, zinc strip. Uh. Okay, so you have to also have uh, labels. This is the anode of the cell. This is the cathode of the cell. Okay. Okay, so this is how you draw the setup of apparatus. Huh? So you show also the flow of the electrons huh? that goes through in here. Okay, concentration 1.0 mole per decimeter cube, 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so then you have, must have a salt bridge huh? in here. Okay, so there you have a complete uh, head cycle, a head cycle block, the diagram to uh, explain the... Sir, they part two things, sir, they part Okay, so uh, that is how we are going to construct the complete diagram. And then you also need to write the overall equation for the reactions involved. So the overall equation in here is Zn plus Cu2 plus gives Zn2 plus plus Cu, okay? Okay, and then B, using suitable formula, calculate the EMF of the cell at 25 degrees Celsius. Okay, so uh, 
you have to calculate the EMF of the cell. So you first, E0 cell is equals to positive 0 0.34 minus negative 0 0.76. You get positive 1.10. But don't forget that now because you, uh, your concentration is not 1.0 mole per decimeter cube. So therefore, you need to use the Nernst equation to uh, calculate the EMF of the cell again. Okay, so uh, here, you use the Nernst equation, E cell equals E0 cell minus 0 0.059 over 2, log Zn2 plus over Cu2 plus, substitute accordingly. So 0 0.1 log uh, 1. So uh, eventually you get your E0 cell equals, still equals to positive 1.10. Uh, but in here, you need to show how you get that 1.10 in here. Okay. So this is basically how you are going to uh, calculate the EMF of the cell at 25 degrees Celsius for the diagram above, okay? Okay, so with that, that is for question number 5b. Then we have question number 5c. Explain what will happen to the EMF if a small amount of concentrated ammonia were added to number one, copper sulfate, number two, zinc sulfate. Okay, so what happened when you form a, uh, add to copper sulfate? So you form a complex of Cu and H3, 4, 2 plus. So as a result, concentration of the Cu2 plus decrease and EMF of the value decrease. So same goes with the zinc sulfate. Uh. So if you add it to the zinc sulfate, you form a complex of Zn and H3, 4, 2 plus. So concentration of Zn2 plus also decrease. As a result, EMF increase as equilibrium shift to the right. So that is how you are going to uh, explain what is the effects towards the uh, EMF of the cell if the concentration, uh, if ammonia is concentrated ammonia is added to each of these complexes. Okay, so uh, that is how you will observe. Okay, so uh, the, uh, you, uh, there might be some extent uh, where they ask you to deduce the color. So if you still remember in chapter seven, we see that this is the deep blue solution. And then uh, this one is a colorless solution. It is a colorless solution. Why colorless solution? Because uh, in this case, uh, zinc in ZNNH342 plus has the oxidation state of plus two. So plus two means that it takes the valence electron of 3D10. Okay, so it has a complete field D orbital. Okay, so that is why it is colorless. Okay, so that is how you get for C. Yeah? And last but not least is question number six. When 1.10 gram of the current flow through an echo solution of silver one nitrate for 80 minutes, 5.91 gram of silver is deposited. Calculate Avogadro constants. Okay, given the electrical charge is 1.60 and 10 power negative 19 column per electron. So uh, you are going to calculate step one, step three, and step four. And then you uh, calculate it using step two. In this case, uh, you cannot straight away deduce what is the, uh, this, uh, you cannot use 96,500, uh, the Faraday constant. Uh. In, set, in fact, you are going to find out what is the Faraday constant for this experiment, okay? Okay, so uh, you use Q equals to IT, where Q equals to 1.10, uh, substitute as exactly given to you in the questions. Uh. 1.10 times 80 times 60, so you get 5280. So mole of silver is 5.91 divided by 1.108. So since Ag plus plus E minus if Ag, so a mole of electron is also equals to 0 0.05472. And then you use the uh, mole of uh, quantity of charge divided by the mole of electron to get the Faraday constant where you have 5,280 divided by 0 0.05472. So you get the uh, 96487. So the 96487, you divide it by the charge of electron, 1.60 times 10 power of negative 19, to get your uh, Avogadro constant at 6.03 times 10 power of 23. Uh, teacher, I thought Avogadro constant is 6.02 times 10 power of 23. Now, don't forget this is an experiment. So when you do the, uh, when you calculate using the experiment, the, uh, the result will be slightly off than the usual. Okay. Okay. So with that, that is how you calculate for 6 as for 6B, hydrogen oxygen fuel cells are used in the spacecraft using potassium hydroxide solution as electrolyte. Draw and label the setup of the fuel cell three marks and then write the half equation, hence calculate an overall equation, hence calculate the EMF of the hydrogen oxygen fuel cells in here. So uh, you have to try your best to draw a label diagram when here you have uh, oxygen in, oxygen out, uh, graphite. Uh, this, is, this one you have to fill in as the KOH, uh, as the electrolyte. Okay, KOH is the electrolyte. Okay, okay. 
Uh, so this is how you fill in the, this one. Uh, uh, out is H2O, uh, sorry, uh, not O2, uh, H2O. Out is water, okay? Okay, so this is how you draw the setup of the apparatus. Just draw it in a very simple manner. It's enough already for you to get the two marks in here. Okay, one, one mark for diagram, one mark for labeling. Okay, number two, write the half equation and overall equation. So the half equation, you use uh, potassium hydroxide as the solution. Uh, so you are going to have uh, O2 plus 2H2O plus 4E minus give for OH minus and then not 2 oh minus give H2 plus 2H2O plus 2E minus. And then uh, your overall equation is 2H2O plus O2 plus 2H2O. So um, your EMF of the cell is positive 0 0.40 minus negative 0 0.83. You get positive 1.23 volt. Okay. So with that, uh, very straightforwardly, this is how you answer for question number 6B. Okay. Okay. So with that, I believe that is all on how you solve the essay question for chapter 2. Okay. So uh, that will be all for the uh, chapter 2. Huh? So... Uh, uh, I'll see you all on our next chapter and then uh, we'll continue later on, okay?